Hey there everybody, I am Scott Stanton, also known as the original Tombstone Tourist, and we are on the campus of Harvard University. Now, why are we here and not in a cemetery? We're going to get to that. Right behind me, in the 1950s, stood a building called the Annex, and in the basement of that building, the CIA, in conjunction with Harvard and a certain professor, conducted some of the most heinous horrendous experiments uh, known to, to in psychology today. It was just absolutely awful what they did there. The building has since been torn down, but what did Harvard do to reward that professor that was the head of all that torture? They named it a department after him. <laughs> it's not just great. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run over to Mount Auburn Cemetery and we're going to pick it up from there and I'm going to tell you who that doctor was and what he really did. Thank you. See you in a minute. Oh, God. Oh, oh sorry I'm late. Okay. Whew. That was a hell of a run. Okay. We just came from Harvard University where we saw a building that used to house the annex where they did all those horrible psychological experiments on a number of subjects. And it was not only the CIA, Harvard, but a certain doctor, a Dr. Henry Murray. Now, Dr. Henry Murray is buried right here on Thistle Path in Moss, Mount Auburn Cemetery. Now, let's talk about Dr. the good Dr. Murray. Now, Dr. Murray came from a very well-known New York family, Blue Bloods, and when they moved here, he was instantly welcomed as a Boston Brahim. Now, if you don't know who that is, look it up. It's a rich thing, okay? Now, Dr. Murray is not a stupid man. He graduated from Columbia, Harvard, Cambridge. Uh, he was very well educated. He not only got a medical degree, but also a degree in a uh, PhD in psych psychology. He was also the director of the psychological clinic here in Harvard. Now, from 1959 to 1962, he teamed up with the CIA to do a number of horrible experiments on uh, the um, subjects at Harvard University. Now, this included deep psychological torture, humiliation. They would basically film the subjects and then uh, sometimes they would bring in uh, third and fourth year law students and then we try to break them down. They would try to, uh, uh, you know, um, just really mess with their minds and, and break down their psychological, it was literally brainwashing. And the reason they were doing that was the CIA wanted to see what it would take to break a foreign spy. But rather than work on foreign subjects, they used subjects at Harvard. And those subjects were students. They did these horrible experiments on 22 college students. Among those 22 was a Theodore Kaczynski. That's right. If you're thinking that's the Unabomber, that's exactly who one of the experiments was on. Theodore Kaczynski, Ted Kaczynski, was a subject of Dr. Murray here for three years. Two hours every week for three years straight, he went into psychological torture at the annex and uh, if you talk to his brother and his, his mother, they said he all changed. Harvard changed him. It was Harvard that did a lot of the damage. Now, what happened after that? Theodore came out of here. He came in antisocial. He left <laughs> really, really kind of messed up. Not insane, but really beaten down. He went to Michigan, got a PhD in mathematics, and he taught at Berkeley for two years before he went into the woods and started making his bombs for almost two decades. And people say that Theodore Kaczynski, with an IQ of in excess 160, only four, five, six uh, mathematicians in the world could actually talk to him because the man was absolutely, and still is, brilliant. That is not to excuse what Theodore Kaczynski did. Theodore Kaczynski, over almost two decades, uh, maimed 23 people and killed three. What he did was absolutely horrible, but the man was brilliant. But what the damage they did to him 
and 22 other students, and those students have now come out and spoken about the damage that those psychological experiments did. It gets worse. In 1960, Timothy Leary, the famous LSD drug guy, um, returned from Mexico to Harvard with a suitcase full of magic mushrooms and other psychedelics, and Dr. Murray was more than happy to indulge not only Timothy Leary, but himself in dosing students and doing tests on psychedelics and things like that, once again, on Harvard students. The CIA in the 1950s ex conducted their own experiments in LSD on students here at Harvard. Now, let's get back to Ted Kaczynski. When Ted went to trial, they said, um, his lawyers went, we need to go to Harvard and get those records. And Harvard said, <laughs> We didn't do that. <laughs> then they said, oh, we might have done that. And they said, oh, but we lost the records. Oh, um, a couple years later, they said the records were destroyed. And then the CIA came out a couple years later and said, oh, yeah, we did that. <laughs> of course we did that. We did that at Harvard. Not only did we do it at Harvard, we did it at over 40 universities across the U.S. They did all these horrible experiments, but it all started here in Harvard. Now, uh, after that, um, in 19, or 2000, Harvard finally said, we have the records. They're in the Henry Murray Department of Social <laughs> uh, Lab. You know, he has his own department named after him in that building, because that's the reward when you torture your own students. He's got his own department, and all his records are now sealed and you will never be able to see Ted Kaczynski's records. And the even worse thing about this story is it's a school of an analysis and analytics. There was absolutely no reason that they did these experiments. In fact, Dr. Murray said himself to one of his students, he said, yeah, it's just a bunch of data. It doesn't, we haven't done, we haven't pulled anything together from this. So, Next time you read about the Unabomber, remember, Harvard. <laughs> I am Scott Stan, the original Tombstone Tourist. Thank you for joining me. We're at Mount Auburn Cemetery. We're on the Thistle Path, and Dr. Henry Murray, uh, I'll let you uh, delve for yourself into the, the internet and type in the Unabomber, Harvard, and you will be absolutely shocked at what you see. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.